Hi everyone, so in this video you will learn how to add or remove read-only attribute using JavaScript. So let's get started. Let's have a basic HTML structure here. Link to a style sheet. Add the script file at the bottom which is script.js. We need one div element, two buttons. Let's make it add, just copy and paste make it remove we need one input element give it a id of add and give it a id of remove okay save it go to style sheet select div element text align will be center select button display will be inline block Padding will be 10 and 20. Select input element. Display will be block. Padding will be same 10 pixels and 20 pixels. Margin will be 10 pixels and auto. Just save it. Open this file in the browser. And this is the output. Now let's try to understand how it will actually work. I will type some text here and on the click of this add button I want to add read only attribute here and on the click of this remove button I want to remove the read only attribute. So let's go to javascript file. Select both the buttons. So let's make it add. We will select it by the id. Just copy and paste, make it remove, it will be remove. Also we need to select the input element, so let's make it input and we'll select by the element name. Now add event listener to both the buttons, event will be click, this will be the handler function. Just copy and paste, make it remove. To add or remove read only attribute to any element, we have to make use of remove attribute method and set attribute method. First, we need the element which is input, then we'll make use of set attribute method. We'll specify the attribute here which is read only, it should be between single quotes, and we'll set it to true. Now just copy and paste, make it remove attribute, we don't need this boolean value, just remove it, now just save it, go to browser, open developer tools, now pay a close attention here, okay, so let me type something here, some random text, when I will click on this add button, you can see we are getting attribute here and I am not able to type anything because now it's read only. Now when I will click on this remove button you can see the attribute is gone and now I can type. So this is what you have to do to add the read only attribute and this is what you have to do to remove the read only attribute. I hope you got the point how it actually works. See you in the next video. Have a nice day.